I've been having these quiet conversations with members of Congress for the last two months. I'm tired of being quiet. <laughs> Folks, it'll restore the strength of the Voting Rights Act of 65. The one President Johnson signed after John Lewis was beaten, nearly killed on Bloody Sunday, only to have the Supreme Court weaken him multiple times over the past decade. Restoring the Voting Rights Act would mean the Justice Department can stop discriminatory laws before they go into effect. Before they go into effect. The Vice President and I have supported voting rights bills since day one of this administration, but each and every time, Senate Republicans are blocked away. Republicans oppose even debating the issue. You hear me? I've been around the Senate a long time. I was Vice President for eight years. I've never seen a circumstance where not one single Republican has a voice that's ready to speak for justice now. When I was a senator, including when I headed up the Judiciary Committee, I helped reauthorize the Voting Act three times. We held hearings. We debated. We voted was able to extend the Voting Rights Act for 25 years. In 2006, the Voting Rights Act passed 390 to 33 in the House of Representatives and 98 to 0 in the Senate, <coughs> with votes from 16 current sitting Republicans in this United States Senate. 16 of them voted to extend it. The last three hours, Chairman, some of my friends sitting down here will tell you, Strom Thurmond voted to extend the Voting Rights Act. Strom Thurmond. You can say that again. Wow. You have no idea how damn how darn hard I worked on that one. But folks, then it was signed into law the last time by President George W. Bush. You know, when we get voting rights extended in 1980, as I said, even Thurman supported it. Think about that. The man who led the longest filibuster, one of the longest filibusters in history in the United States Senate, 1957, against the Voting Rights Act. The man who led and sided with all Southern bulls in the United States Senate to perpetuate segregation in this nation. Even Strom Thurman came to support voting rights. But Republicans today are can't and won't. Not a single Republican has displayed the courage to stand up to a defeated president to protect America's right to vote. Not one. 